Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions. So we're gonna be testing out so much new makeup. Like I couldn't even fit everything into today's video just because there's just so much. So I'm gonna to have to do a part two very soon. But today we have drugstore and high end, which is great because typically I always do drugstore, but I got some new high end stuff here, new mascara, new foundation, and lots of really great things. So definitely get excited. And also I wanna give a big thank you to Sempered for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been with me for quite some time you know that I have loved Semper since like 2016 it's one of my favorite subscription services so Semper is a monthly subscription service where you pay $14.95 a month and you get a 30-day supply of your favorite perfume so that could be a reoccurring favorite or a new favorite you could test out a new one every single month if you like they do have over 400 different ones to choose from on their website which is amazing because it's such a great way to try out new perfumes without breaking the bank so the packaging I love it's so convenient for traveling and you can just see the case is super cute you twist it up and you do have a spritzer which is my favorite thing I hate roller balls I feel like you have to constantly reapply it so you go through the perfume a lot faster and it just doesn't last a really long time on my skin personally so the spritzer is super convenient and then you just pull out the perfume and you can see the name so clearly this is my favorite one juicy couture viva la juicy the original I love this perfume it smells so good I just don't get sick of it it's just like that classic sweet scent that I can wear all year round and I love it so that's my first favorite and my second favorite is completely beat up. I've had this for such a long time, but I finally used it all up. This is DKNY Be Delicious Green Apple. This is my second favorite perfume. I really like this because it's a little bit more floral. So I do typically prefer this in the spring or summer, but I also do wear this all year round because this lasts a super long time on my skin. Like I'll wear it, shower, and I can still smell it even after I get out of the shower. So I love it. It's like a true like sweet floral scent. And then this is a newer scent for me. This is Ellie Tahari's Night. So this one is a little bit more musky, but it's it still has a little bit of sweetness in there, which I love. Definitely prefer this one for going out, like a date night, girls night. So definitely check out Sempered. I will leave their website down below. They also did give me a coupon code for you guys. So if you use code Juicy Jazz, you get 30% off your first month. So check it out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely grab a snack. And without further ado, let's jump into the full face of first impressions. So I'm actually gonna start off with some skincare really quick, just because I wanted to have enough time to really absorb into my skin, because you guys know I always do my eyes first. So this is the Lolly Plum elixir it's a plum seed oil and you can actually get skincare on Semper's website as well which is really cool it's a good addition and just drip it down my face hmm it smells really good I love primer oils this is like a multi-use oil which is really cool so you can use it on your skin on your scalp if you have a really dry scalp I personally don't. I have super oily scalp. It feels good. It's not too oily. You know what I mean? Like some oils are just a little too much because I have combo skin. So I usually don't like to use a lot, but I feel like primer oils just make your foundation go on like so much better and creamier on the skin. So I really want to give that some time to absorb. So yeah, that feels good. So then I have the Code of Harmony 40 Winks Firming Eye Serum. So another one of those products where I'm going to have to test this out probably for at least like a month, sort of like a coffee brown color. I'm just gonna press that down there. Helps with softening your fine lines, brightens, depuffs, and visibly firms the skin. So again, one of those things that you have to keep using, but like so far it feels really good. I think it makes my skin look super plump too, which I like. Now let's get into the eye makeup. I'm gonna use the J-Cap Beauty All About That Base eyeshadow primer. This one's in the shade Nude. They also have a shimmer one, but like I personally don't really love shimmer eye bases. So of course I went with Nude, very pigmented. So I'm gonna apply that with my finger. Duh, already done. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my brush just to blend that out. Super easy to blend. And I used like the tiniest little dot. So that's like a lot of product in there. I have so many new eyeshadow palettes, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, so I just went with this one from Carity. So apparently this brand has been around for quite some time, but it was new to me because I've never seen it before. I saw it at CVS recently that they launched, so of course I had to check it out, but this is what it looks like. This is the Picante eyeshadow palette. I mean, can you tell why I picked this? It's like a bunch of warm neutrals, and yeah, we're gonna use this today. So I'm gonna take the shade up here, which is called Delia, and I'm just gonna apply that in my crease. I'm feeling very very summery today because I'm wearing like literally like a tank top kind of thing because I have no new clothes and I usually like to of course like switch up what I wear in my videos so you guys don't feel like you're watching the same video over and over again but I'm definitely being an outfit repeater right now and wearing this top from the summer because 
I need to go clothes shopping. Oh, this is pretty. It's like a soft peach. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Dune. It's like a, almost like a light mustard shade. And I'm gonna use a clean blending brush. And I'm gonna take that and run that basically where I just applied the other shade. It's very similar. It's just a little bit more mustardy. These are pretty. They're blending out really nice. I mean, I've only used two shades, but like so far so good. These eyeshadow palettes are a little bit more on the pricey side compared to like most drugstore brands. So just kind of something to keep in mind. I feel like for the price, I wish that the palette had a mirror. I mean, that's kind of just me being picky, but just an observation. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Spicy. Oh wait, do I wanna use this shade up here? This is like Trophy Wife. Ooh, look at that color. That's like a lime gold green. I think I have to use that today. I'm gonna start off and just apply it with my finger and see how it shows up. So it's showing up. It's almost like a yellow gold lime green. You guys get it. You get what I'm trying to say. I feel like it needs a brush. Let's see how it looks with a brush. So I dipped my brush and I'm gonna spray it. Which is a little too small for what I'm doing. Hold on, let me grab my ABH brush. This one just fits perfectly. Okay, I feel like I lost a little bit of the color in the crease, so I'm gonna just take a little bit more and kind of just run that right in there, just like that. Just for the sake of playing with more shades, I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Harvest in here, and I'm gonna apply that in the crease as well. I will say these colors are layering really nicely, which is great. For lashes, I have these in the style Intantris. This is the brand, I don't wanna butcher it, but this is what it looks like. These were sent to me, to my PO box. I don't remember if I used this brand before, but I'm always testing out new lashes. This is what they look like. A subscriber sent them over. So I think they're gonna be really pretty with this look. I'm not gonna do any winged liner. I'm not really that into winged liner on the daily. I have to be like in the mood for it. So I'm just gonna pop these on. Okay, I'm just looking at my eyeshadow right now and I'm thinking, should I do a little bit of this color down here, like a little bit of brown in the crease instead? So the contrast isn't like too much. I'm so indecisive. Okay, let's take a little bit of bittersweet and I hope I don't mess this look up right here. I'm gonna take that shade. While the lash glue dries, this is what I do. I just kind of stare at my eyes and I'm like, mm, do I wanna change this up a little bit? See that I feel like already made a big difference and it kind of like toned down that orangey vibe. I like this so much better. It's like a little bit more neutral versus like straight up orangey. You know what I mean? I love it now. Okay, cool. Now I feel like I lost a little bit of that shade right there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. There we go. All right. In my mind, that made a big difference. I don't know if you could really tell on camera, but I like the contrast of this better versus like the orangey tones. So while we continue to wait for the lash glue to dry, I do have a new mascara. This one's from Fenty. This is their Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. Ooh, the packaging is really, really pretty. I haven't even opened it up yet, but this is what it looks like. And the wand looks pretty good, very big. I know, I'm weird. I have to smell everything that I put on my face. I'm gonna just take this and just do a coat. I don't see a ton of volume, to be honest. I do see it showing up on my lashes, but it's not like super thickening or anything. I also don't have amazing lashes, so we will see how this looks on the bottom lashes. So let's pop on these lashes now in the meantime. Perfect. Let me know down below of your favorite lash brands. I feel like there's so many great ones nowadays. Like there's so much to choose from. If you can apply lashes without tweezers, like I admire you because I can't. Sometimes I even still struggle with tweezers, but these are pretty. I'm trying to lift this lash up. I just feel like it's the way it's sitting on my eye, but it's like applied 
properly, but it's just kind of drooping down, but let's hope that that's not too distracting. All right, let's move on to the rest of the face. So I have some new products from Bite Beauty today. I have their new Change Maker Skin Optimizing Foundation Primer. This is for normal to oily skin. Just looks like this. So Bite Beauty is now officially vegan, which is like amazing. Let's see. Oh, it feels like a cream, like a moisturizer. <laughs> Ooh, it feels really good, especially with that plum seed oil underneath. My face feels so soft and like really hydrated, which is nice. My skin's been a little on the dry side lately. That's another reason why I wanted to use that. Ooh, this feels good. I wonder what the claims on this are. I'll leave them on the screen. Let me look them up actually really quick right now because that feels good. So it says it's a clean, high performance primer with skin optimizing technology to neutralize your skin type and grip foundation for flawless lasting wear. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Sorry, I had to just look at it on my computer really quick. I like that. It does feel really nice. It doesn't say anything about pore filling. It really just feels like a moisturizer, which I'm not mad about. I love when stuff's really hydrating. So that is nice so far. And then I'm going in with their Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I have this one in the shade M55. I'm hoping it's a good match. It's supposed to be a medium to buildable coverage foundation. It has 32 shades and it just says it's supposed to give you like a natural flawless finish. So this is supposed to work good too if you have sensitive skin, which my skin can be sensitive. So I like the packaging. I feel like it is pretty practical. Oh, I don't know about this color though. This is like the lightest shade that they sent me. So I'm hoping that it matches. It feels very moussey, which I, I don't mind. So I have this new sponge. This is the Equate Beauty Latex Free Sponge. I got this at Walmart. It's really cute packaging and I'm about to just go get it wet under the sink and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like now when it is wet. I really like the marble on it. It doesn't feel as bouncy as like my e.l.f. one or even my Wet n Wild sponge, which those are my two favorites, but it does feel pretty bouncy. I'm gonna test it out and see. It feels like, you know, like you can actually like hear it on my face. Like it's not a super bouncy sponge. Mm, I don't love it. It's not super soft. It almost feels like, like I'm hitting myself on the face with like a ball. Uh, not a fan. Sorry, let's move on. Let's just use the e.l.f. sponge. So I didn't use a lot of the foundation, as you can see. I'm not really getting a ton of coverage, so I am gonna use a little bit more just because I want some more coverage. I think the color is actually pretty good. It's pretty neutral. It's not like too yellow or anything. It doesn't smell like anything. Kind of just smells like regular foundation. Ooh, there we go. We have some coverage. I really like the moussey kind of, oh my God, this is a good shade. Whoa, this may be like a perfect shade. But what was I saying? I'm sorry, I get so sidetracked when I'm filming, but I really like the moussey consistency. It feels good on the skin. And I really like that primer combo that I did with the primer oil and then also with the Bite Beauty primer. I feel like the foundation is really like gliding on and it's making my skin look super healthy, but I could definitely see that medium coverage. I think it's really pretty. I feel like it wasn't really getting a lot of coverage when I first blended it out because of that sponge. So definitely use like your favorite tools whenever you are testing out a new product. I just wanted to test that one out just because like I usually really like Equate makeup brushes and I thought the sponge would be really good. But typically I like to just use what I love because that's when I get the best result. Okay, we have a winner and I was a little nervous about the shade but I feel like it looks really good. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize but this so far I really like and I love the packaging. Very sleek, very beautiful. Now for concealer, I'm super excited about this. I have e.l.f.'s brand new 16 hour hydrating camo concealer. I'm a big fan of their original. Their original Original concealer is like bomb. So I got this one in the shade light beige. I haven't really seen, I mean, I've seen people test it out. I just haven't watched any videos on it. So I don't even know how this is gonna look or feel, but let's test it out. There's a little cooling. It definitely already feels hydrating, more hydrating versus the original where the original is definitely more on the matte side. It's kind of reminds me of like Tarte Shape Tape. Ooh, it 
feels really cooling. Is that like a thing? It doesn't say, it just says it's a hydrating long wear concealer, but it feels really good on the skin. I like the coverage of it too. Okay, well, my lashes are not on properly. This one is definitely so droopy still, you guys. Like I, okay. This is the reality of when I do my makeup sometimes. So maybe I just didn't use enough glue. Let's try this again. This combo is so pretty. It gave me some really good coverage. The shades I think are perfect of the concealer and of the foundation. And I think I like the formula of this one a little bit more than the original just because it feels really, really hydrating on the skin. Like they are not lying. Oh, that is really good. Obsessed so far, so good. So then I have the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Light. Just looks like this. By the way, I found a lot of the new e.l.f. stuff at Target. So this powder says it's supposed to make your skin look like you're wearing a beauty filter, which I usually say that about the Haley's Beauty Powder, so I'm excited to see if this one compares. This is a blurring soft focus finish, and it's supposed to be really good. So anything that says it's gonna make me look like a filter, I'm here for it. And I'm gonna dip my sponge. It's a little light. I feel like maybe I need the shade medium, but I didn't want it to be too dark just because I'm like so pale right now. I have like no color. So I'm just gonna use this on my T-zone and then I'm gonna use another powder to set the rest of my face. It's very soft. I do agree with like the soft finish. It's super lightweight. I love how I blend it into my skin like almost effortlessly. That is pretty cool. So I like that so far. But then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder from Bite Beauty. And this one is in the shade Medium One. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This is too dark. Do you see that? I mean, it says medium on it, but like, this seems pretty light. It doesn't look like a bronzer shade, but like when I applied it right here, it looks a little like bronzery. Interesting. Okay, hold on, rewind. Let's use a little bit of the e.l.f. powder instead. I'm just using what's ever left from the lid. I'm just gonna dust this on. I have this new bronzer from Wet n Wild. I was gonna use this the other day and then I was like, no, let me just use it for a testing new makeup video. So this is the What Shady Beaches. I don't remember if I used this before, but I saw that it was new at Ulta, so I just picked it up because I didn't see any like brand new bronzers. So it looks very warm though, so I'm definitely gonna be super light-handed with this. Okay, this is definitely a bronzing shade for me, not something I would use to contour just because it is so orangey. It's really nice though. I feel like I would like this if I was a little bit tanner more, just because I'm so fair. So it's like a pretty big contrast against my skin right now, but it definitely is very bronzy. Oh, I don't have a new blush. That's like the one thing I don't have. This is new, but it's not new to me. It's like new on the market, but like I've been using it. I've been loving it. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Nudist Society. It's just like a really light, pinky blush and I've just been really really loving it for any look really so I'm gonna just take some of this and just apply it right to the apples of the cheeks I don't want anything too crazy today just because I feel like we already have a lot going on with this eye makeup so I'm just gonna use a little bit and I've been really loving it right on the tip of my nose as well okay so I have two new highlighters these are both from NYX I got these at Ulta so we have their illuminating powder it's the high glass powder and this one's in the shade Moon Glow, and then we have their High Glass Finishing Powder in the shade Light. So from what I swatched, the finishing powder is a little bit more of like that natural soft glow, and then the illuminating powder is more of like an intense highlight. So I'm gonna do one on one side, one on the other. And the illuminating powder, it kind of feels like a ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow. So when you touch it, it sort of feels like super creamy, and then when it dries, it's sort of like a powder, regular powder finish. And then the finishing powder is just like a traditional powder. So let's go ahead and do one on one side, one on the other. And I'm just going to dip my brush into the illuminating powder first. Oh, 
Ooh, that's pretty. Very pretty. So that is what it looks like. Very pretty. I'm gonna do the other side with a different brush. Okay, so this is the illuminating, or no, this is the finishing powder. This is the illuminating powder. Call me crazy, but I'm loving this side. I don't know what it is, you guys, but I have been so into like more of a natural glow these days. I just, I feel like it's so pretty. It really just like complements the skin well. My bronzer looks a little splotchy on this side though, but. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm gonna use this NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. I've never used this color in particular, so we're gonna test it out. I've really been loving NYX lip liners lately. Oh, I like this. It's like a really good creamy formula, even though it's wooden. I'm digging it. Okay, now we have some, we have quite a few lip products actually, but I think I'm gonna test these one out from Bite Beauty. So I have, okay, okay, hold on. So I'm gonna use the Bite Beauty Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. So this is what the packaging looks like, kind of like a ColourPop lippy stick sort of thing. This one is in the shade Amaretto. Ooh. So creamy. Wow, the formula is just like their OG lipsticks that they used to have, because they did like revamp their formula, so now they are 100% vegan but it's still just as creamy, if not even a little bit better. And then I have this Carity Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Game Changer. It's just a clear gloss. I'm just gonna top that off because I love me a good glossy lip. I'm gonna take actually this brown shade right in here. I'm just gonna smudge that right on the lower lashes. Then for the waterline, this is not a new product, but you guys know I'm obsessed with these, the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liners. I'm gonna go in with the shade Punch right on the waterline. Actually, I don't think I've ever used this color because it looks brand new right here. Oh my God, this is so pretty. It literally matches the eyeshadow. I love that. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do a quick coat of mascara. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Overall, I am very impressed. I know that I'm like very summery right now with my shirt and my makeup, but I'm living for it. So for the most part, I really loved everything that I used, to be honest. I don't have a product in here that I hated, that I would never use again, but my standout products for sure are the complexion products. I love this primer combo. This plum seed oil is absolutely amazing with this Change Maker Primer from Bite Beauty. I love the way my skin looks today and the way that it feels. It just feels super healthy healthy and plump and it was like a very lightweight combo so it wasn't like greasy or anything like that so this is really really nice eye serum also felt really hydrating and I feel like that's why I like the foundation and concealer combo so much because like the base was really really nice so I'm loving these products the halo glow setting powder is pretty nice as well that's so far so good the bite beauty powder I just need to go down a shade and I feel like it would be really nice as well and then I do like the high glass finishing powder from NYX more than the illuminating powder so if you want a more intense glow, I would go with the illuminating powder. But if you want something more natural, definitely go with the finishing powder. The eyeshadow base was really nice. The eyeshadow palette was also really pretty. I think it just kind of comes down to if you want to spend this much money on a luxury drugstore brand. Because if you go into CVS, it does say luxury drugstore. So it's going to be a little bit more pricey versus something from like Wet n Wild or something. So just something to keep in mind. The lip crowns from Bite Beauty are absolutely amazing. Love the formula. I feel like it's even creamier than before. So I'm happy about that that. So far, I'm really loving the way everything is looking, but if anything changes, I will leave it in the description box below. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated in future videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you once again to Sempered for sponsoring today's video. I will leave all the details in the description box below. And I will see you guys very soon in a few days in my next video. Bye.